need Pokemon Go PvP coaching? Well, I'm on Metify, so click the link in the video description and it'll take you right to my page. What's up guys? Got another exciting video today. We're back in Great League again. It feels good to be back. And I've got an exciting new Pokemon to show you guys. Beware. And that's not a warning. It in fact is a blessing. Beware just had a community day or Stuffle did. The evolution is Beware. And this Pokemon, middle of the rankings, honestly, in PvP Poke, but I felt like it actually outperformed the rankings. Maybe in part due to the fact that nobody really knows what it does yet. I think people don't fully know the move sets. There's a, there's a couple different moves you can be running here that sometimes your opponents just won't really have any clue what's happening. So without further ado, I felt like it was the perfect safe swap in an ABB team for Scrafty. Very similar matchups. It's a fighter that's weak to fighting. It's also weak to charm. Um, it's also weak to flying. Like it's, it's got a lot of those shared weaknesses and it has access to something like superpowers, this huge nuke that can really just grab shields in a lot of these scenarios. Anyways, it's the classic Skarmory Scrafty core here. I felt Skarmory did a better job than some other options at, at protecting Scrafty in this case. The main problem, however, is, as you see on your screen right now, is Talonflame, the core breaker to the Skarmory Scrafty core. And I don't usually see a lot of Talonflame, but I did today. There were a lot and you know what? It's still definitely possible to beat Skarmory. Sorry, Talonflame with Skarmory and Scrafty. So I'll show you a couple of those games. Beware here has a couple moves I talked about earlier. Superpower is really the only one I think that is necessary. Stomp. I tried Stomp. Uh, so the, both these sets are with Stomp. Uh, set in the middle, I tried the Payback. I didn't like it as much. It gives you the ability to hit those Ghost types. But honestly, I think you're better off putting yourself in a position to farm them down instead. And then Drain Punch as well. I think you could potentially run Superpower Drain Punch. Uh, that's the community move, but I really don't think it's that good. So anyways, I, th this was the move that I ended up liking the best. And Lowland Sandslash in the lead. I think someone forgot it's not Kanto Cup, so I swap into Beware. I'm just farming up. I know they're going to try and catch a move here. I don't want to Superpower and debuff myself and have them come in and dominate Beware. So instead, I wait a little bit. I build up a bunch because I'm faking the Payback. I think Payback is that... It's around nine shadow claws or something like that so i'm able to grab one shield first gonna get off another stomp stomp is a move i'd never used before apparently it has similar stats to that of the elemental punches but superpower does a little bit more damage here so i'm actually able to trick this needle queen by throwing stomp first and then superpower and then we get the tie not to mention beware took shield advantage here as well so just huge advantage i let uh, lady luck choose my pokemon here for me uh, what to come in with and I'm glad it shows Skarmory instead of Scrafty here So now my Scrafty has this amazing matchup versus Alolan Sandslash I just need to make sure my Skarmory is able to take down this Azumarill And honestly shouldn't be too much of a problem. This matchup is quite neutral Yeah, I didn't even really have to I didn't build up to the Brave Bird a little bit of a mistake It would have been nice to shred that shield first But I am not against just throwing the sky attacks here I see them swap out and then I'm swapping immediately into my Scrafty and no moves need to be thrown here. Crafty's just going to be able to take down that Alolan Sand Slash with those double super effective counters. Yeah, it's all about setting up the Scrafty for the win. You are kind of that, that sacrifice here in a lot of these games, but it, it does so well. And a lot of people don't know what to do. Watch, I swap into Beware. Swammer stays in for so long. Beware is a huge energy advantage now. Is able to soak this. And then they're going to go back into the Needle Queen. So same as last time. I'm just building up a little bit more here. Because I want to fake the payback. No shield this time. But once again, I'm going to go for the superpower. And honestly, this was me testing damage. I really should have undercharged here. Because it wasn't going to take them out. And I would have loved to get a little bit more farm on the Skarmory. But it looks like this Needle Queen is not going to be at the move it wants to be at here. So I'm going to be able to take down... That Needle Queen, go into the Scrafty, and just hope here. Hope that Scrafty can sweep, because Scrafty is probably the Pokemon that breaks the most cores in this entire game. And yep, we have another broken core here. Swampert and Trev, both beaten by Scrafty. They try and call the bait on the first one, which is, is fair, but Trevenant is just not tanky enough to survive a foul play plus some extra counters. I throw the power up punch because I don't want to have to shield another seed bomb here. And we'll see I'm going to grab a shield. And yeah, they don't quite get there because of the boost. 
But yeah, so Beware, also kind of one of those Pokemon. Both of these Pokemon, everyone complains so much about Trevin and Walrein and that core. But Scrafty beats both. And Beware can beat both too. So you actually have some really good play against some of the top meta right now with this backline. So, very unfortunate. Deoxys as the counter swap here. This is pretty tough. I did build up to the payback, so I'm able to grab a shield here off the Deoxys. I'm not going to shield back. I did not expect Psycho Boost to take me out. But Beware is really squishy. Its bulk is less than that of Trevenant, for example. So this thing is pretty glassy. Uh, so it is actually quite a bit of fun to use. Deoxys, yeah, one of, this one of these Pokemon that kind of breaks this core here. But luckily with that debuff, the Thunderbolt doesn't deal all that much damage. And Skarma is going to be able to end this matchup with a little bit of energy. And yeah, another core breaker here is the Zapdos. But not a lot of people running Zapdos. I really wouldn't consider this core breaker. But this team is already running two core breakers to the whole team. So it is a bit of a... A tough scenario here right we have the zapdos and then we have the deoxys which can kind of beat everything in the back yeah so scrappy is going to come in this by is going to deal the most damage by far out of anything this drill peck it might even one shot scrappy I, I have no idea but they go into sableye here and i have to make some pretty big decisions oh yeah foul play hits pretty hard and i probably should have baited here but i thought i was far enough ahead on energy they actually get that sneak through there and I'm going to get it back. But it's it comes down to the bait game here. I didn't think they'd be able to get to a foul play in a return. And it looks like they are just going to be able to get there. And this return should be able to KO my Scrafty. If not, Scrafty probably would have been able to win this game as well. A little bit of a misplay for me. And that was with two core breakers to this team. That's pretty insane. All right, another Swampert lead. There was a lot of Swamperts. So neutral lead. We're going to get right on to Beware. And in comes Pelipper. So this is an interesting matchup too. Pelipper is a Pokemon you think would beat Beware, right? But if Beware has that energy advantage, it survives a Weather Ball plus these wing attacks. It's going to build up to a, pay a payback, which gets the shield. And then I'm going to throw another Stomp here. So that's why I've been loving the Stomp. I actually probably should have thrown Super Power here. Because it's resisted. Uh, only single resisted. So it actually does as much damage, I think. if Just a little bit more. And Skarm's going to be able to come in and clean up this Pelipper. No, no big deal. Oh, yeah, these Weather Balls, they don't really do, do too much. It's just about getting energy here. We got Shield Advantage already from the Beware. So it's about Scrafty, hopefully carrying this through the end. I'm going to throw the Brave Bird here because I'm already up Shields. And it lands. So I'm going to go straight into Scrafty. And in comes Altaria. This one is going to be pretty tight. Altaria is kind of tough for Scrafty. They did have... Uh, pretty hard counter backline here right double flyer versus double fighting so these are the kind of games that you wouldn't really expect to win but because beware was able to grab shield advantage out of that switch scenario scrafty actually has a shot here with two shields up on this altaria so second foul play lands oh i really had to think about shielding here i, I do shield my scrafty because i figured i would be able to power up punch to the swampert swampert would have to throw a move at scrafty and then if it did, then Skarmory should be able to take it down with air slashes. So that was the reason for the shield there. Yeah, Skarmory barely going to be able to take it down. Then hopefully this Altari doesn't quite get to its move in and it doesn't. Skarmory is going to be able to take it out. And I'm not a big Skarmory player. I don't know the matchups very well for Skarmory. I'm not going to lie. A lot, of, a lot of people out there have played a lot more Skarmory than I have. And I've just always found it to be a little bit of a boring Pokemon. But unfortunately, it, it is probably it was probably the best Pokemon to facilitate this back line here. All right, Trevenant lead. And this is great. We have three Pokemon that beat Trevenant here. In fact, they swap out right into Hypno. And I decide to try and make a catch because Hypno versus Scrafty is pretty good. As long as they're not throwing a Focus Blast or something like that. So, just going to catch Thunder Punch. Get a little bit of energy on the Skarmory. And I should still be able to beat this Hypno. I throw it right away because I want them to make the decision first on if they're going to shield or not. Because if they don't, well, then I don't have to worry about shielding. If they do shield then i can shield their next move too and just match there coming with the trevin they're just farming up an absolute ton this is actually a very good play by them they're trying to farm me into seed bomb single seed bomb range and they outpace so every shield they spend here is bonus energy for them so unfortunately this trevenant while generally pretty useless against this team does have a pretty big energy advantage 
but I figured since their plan they swapped out of Trevenant into Hypno, they likely have another answer for Skarmory in the back. So I decided to bring in my Skarmory, take some damage, and it's Warring. Oh, big surprise. But this is exactly what this team is built for, right? We need Pokemon that core break this duo. And we have two of them here. We have Beware, which can handle both Trevenant and Warring. And then we have Scrafty, of course. Of course, you would have loved the Beware to have this matchup the other way around, where it takes out the Trevenant first, farms it down, and then has the superpower energy for the Walrein. But unfortunately, that's not the way it went. I probably should have saved the Brave Bird in hindsight and just come in with the Beware and went straight for the superpower on that Walrein. Either way, this is not too bad. I'm just shielding up, throwing these stomps. They actually hit decently hard despite being double resisted. Not too bad. Beware is able to farm down the Trevenant to finish off that game nice and easy. Next game. What are we going to see? I didn't win a lot of leads. Yeah, another Talonflame. Ugh. So go right into the Beware versus these Talonflame leads. And, and they seem to be uh, becoming a little bit more common. I just throw the Stomp. I don't build up to the potential payback here. Because I just want to get damage on this thing. And then... Do I call this bait? I think I do. I call it wrong. We take the Brave Bird. Honestly, that's fine. They threw right away. I'm just gonna take my time, come back in with Skarmory, because it's likely they have to swap out. And it's Quagsire. So, interesting Pokemon for sure. At this point, I'm thinking it's probably Quagsire and Swampert. And this matchup is pretty good for Skarm. It's not bad. Stone Edge hurts, but it's not the worst thing in the world. But what I'm really trying to do here, and I didn't build up to Brave Bird, you see that again? Is because I'm not trying to get shields. I'm trying to make them keep their shields. Think they're too smart here. Save their shields, and then Scrafty's going to come in and just counter this Quagsire all the way down. And these shields, they're not going to help. I'm just going to throw power-up punches at this Talonflame. I mean, it could be a foul play, for all they know. But they have two shields, so they're likely to shield. They didn't even shield. But you know what? That doesn't matter, because I'm just going to keep throwing moves here uh i had to throw this one i wasn't gonna be able to counter down just in time yeah because that counter doesn't quite finish them off i'll spend a shield here anyways but at this point scrafty has quite a bit of of extra damage the boost i thought about going for the foul play here because i do have the move on skarmory as well and i honestly should have because it would have been able to take them out but with shadow swamper he's just so squishy i figured that with another Power up punch, I would be able to farm this guy down as well. So Scrafty shields up. One of the best closures in the entire game. And core breaks a ton of the uh, the open great league meta right now. So, yeah, it's a pretty good pick. Beware is is the um the safer version of it. It's like the G Fisk to the bat the Scrafty being a bastion. Okay. Shift tree lead. In comes Azumarill. So this is a bit tricky. Obviously, you would want the Skarmory on both of these Pokemon. But that doesn't seem to be the a possibility here. Beware versus Shiftry, I'm assuming, is not great. But Scrafty versus Shiftry is a fantastic matchup. So the goal here is to win Switch, keep Switch with Skarmory, and then get Scrafty on, on Shiftry. But I thought of something else. What if I throw a Sky Attack, and then I get a big farm down on Beware? If I get a big farm down on Beware, then Shiftry can't come back into Beware. And therefore, they'll have to bring their other Pokemon into Beware. And Scrafty will be aligned versus Shiftry. But not everything always works out as planned. My opponent actually comes back in with Shiftry, which... Is a little bit crazy to me, I thought. Because this Beware is absolutely loaded. It's going to be at Super Power 1 already, which I'm sure is a one-shot. We're going to get to Super Power 2, which might still be a one-shot even debuffed. And Beware, just like that, has taken two shield advantage. So, the plan did not work like how I drew it out. But it still worked pretty well. Yeah, and, and after those uh, those debuffs, that Leaf Blade is for sure going to take out Beware. I decide to no shield this. I actually thought it did a little bit less damage to Scrafty. But I'm planning on just spending one more shield anyways. I want to farm the Shift Tree down. Because I want to be able to save all my energy for this final Pokemon here. There's not a lot of Pokemon in the game that can beat Skarmory and Scrafty, especially when Scrafty has shield advantage. And yeah, that was a weird bug. So I clicked the shield. You guys saw that, right? 
or am I going crazy? Maybe I didn't click the shield. I clicked the shield. And the damage went through the shield, but not full of the full damage. So I got a third shield, but I tried to use my shield. So we both received a bug. The game has been working probably worse than ever. Another Swampert lead. Yeah, these things are everywhere now. Um, and in comes Shadow Skun Tank. So Shadow Skun Tank versus Beware. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to CMP tie them on a move, but I think they're actually gonna try and farm me down. And the interesting thing here is they're gonna let me get to another move as well. At this point, I could have probably shielded and forced them to, or forced switch. That's what Beware has been able to do for me a couple of times, but instead, it's fine to let my Beware go down. We tied, we CMP tied. I can come in with the Skarmory and take the shield advantage right to the bank. Cause it's not like Skarmory versus Swampert's that bad of a matchup. In fact, I'm going to stay in a little bit. I don't mind tanking a Hydro Cannon on Skarmory. I just want to get the Sky Attack off. So I'm going to under tap there. Still going to receive that much shot. But this will allow Swamp to go down much easier to the Scrafty. And in fact, they do have a Needle Queen in the back. It's a little bit sketchy. This is double poison as well versus double fighting. So once again, they have a huge advantage here. I'm going to no shield this first move. I just hope that they no shield my foul play as well. Because I need to take this Needle Queen down before it starts getting um, some moves off. I probably could have made it to the foul play, but I figured power up punch damage would probably be enough here. And it was. So able to <laughs> Scrafty kind of kamikazes there, takes down the Needle Queen, and that's all I needed from Scrafty Skarmory. Should be able to double shield through this. Swamper, you can see my six finger tap style right there. Six, six uh, different bubbles showing up there. I just wanted to try and sneak some moves through there. Since that hasn't been quite fixed yet by Niantic, unfortunately. Not sure what the timeline on that will be either. Next game, Sableye Elite. So once again, we got two Pokemon in the back line that can handle the Sableye. Unfortunately, beware. Can't really deal too much damage to it with charge moves. And I just want to see how much damage this return does, so I don't shield it. Um, and they actually make a great swap here, but somehow <laughs> they're trying to catch a fighting type move on a steel type. Interesting. So I hit that <laughs> Magnemite, by the way, very spicy with that superpower. And the next superpower, that's a debuff superpower on Sableye. That's a lot of damage, actually. So the Sableye matchup, not that bad. You just need to be able to farm up. Honestly... No shield to return and then double superpower. I think you can win the zeros there. No problem. But your goal anyways is to get that save light to switch out. So you can get the Scrafty on it in the back. Yeah, and it's double. It's it's magnet hole. But not with the, the magnet that you expect. So very spicy team. You gotta love it. People are actually running spice in Season of Spice. So, Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. That's 9 wins out of 10. And also, remember that one of those wins... So the only loss in the entire video was when my opponent had two core breakers to this team of which there are only like six core breakers and three of which are like Pokemon that you'll you'll never ever see so when someone's running Shadow Zapdos and Deoxys I mean sometimes you're just gonna lose games it, it just is what it is but this team was able to beat double flying double poison multiple Talonflame right like it's not like these games that I had were easy games. I don't even know. I think I had maybe two good leads. It was Shiftry and, and Trevenant where kind of the entire team beat them. But for the most part, they were pretty tough leads. And, and the other set I ran with Payback was tough too. I guess people just really don't like those Skarmory leads anymore nowadays. Either way, that's the video. And before I bid you a do, huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, of course. Could not be doing this without you guys. And in fact... Um, if I actually went through with it, one of them was responsible for the title of this YouTube video. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so some of the great minds. Thank you, uh, Joe. If Joe Watts, if uh, if I did use your your suggestion, I thought I thought that was pretty a pretty funny title. So, uh, anyways, thank you everyone for watching.